Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to one more Facebook Live session um, with one of the colleges and universities, as we promised. Today, we are very fortunate to have Venus. Venus is the regional marketing manager from Swinburne. Venus, thank you so much for your time and welcome once again to Aussies Live. Thank you, Manglish, for having me and thank you for Aussies Group for today's invitation. It's a pleasure to join you all today on Facebook. My name is Venus. I'm the Regional Recruitment Manager at Swimming University and I'm responsible for onshore international student recruitment. Nice to meet you all here. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Venus. Now, as we are staying in Melbourne, Victoria, and you know, we have a beautiful backgrounds, but unfortunately, we can't go there. So that's why uh, we are working from home. And of course, we are trying to give as much information as possible to our students about the courses, about different colleges and everything. Uh, so let's not waste any time. And can you please tell us about the information uh, about Swinburne in general, locations, courses, everything, please? Yes, uh, before I do that, can I just bring up my PPT? I'll please, share my screen please. with you guys. Sure. Can you see my slide? Yes, can you please go for, yeah, excellent. We can. Oh, wonderful, okay. So uh, this is our main campus in Hawthorne based in Melbourne, Australia, and this is me. I'm the Regional Recruitment Manager from Swimming University and lovely to meet you all today. So about Swimming University, uh, Swimming University of Technology is a STEM, S-T-E-M focused university based in Melbourne, Australia, leading the way in innovation, industry engagement and social impact. Our education is a career centric degree and industry partners create positive opportunities for our students, our staff and the community. We have a total of 57,000 students enrolled across three of our campuses in Melbourne, including main campus in Hawthorne and Croydon campus, also Wintona campus. You will be able to find a large range of courses at Swinburne, including undergraduate and postgraduate programs. Our courses were created with great flexibility. You can study double majors under one single degree. You can also start specializing from day one plus choosing one of our work integrated learning units to have your industry experience as part of your degree. Excellent. Thank you so much, Venus. Now, I believe the next intake, what we are looking for would be November, 2020, right? Yes. Excellent. Um, so, yeah. sorry. So can you please uh, tell us what are the courses which you are, which the Swinburne is providing uh, during our November intake, please? I might have finished my Swinburne information a oh, lot sure. quicker please, than you thought. <laughs> I have a lot more slides sure. to go through. Sure, sure. Please go ahead. Yes. Um, so as I have mentioned that Swinburne University is a dual sector university, it's a public university, and we're offering programs from research um, and postgrad, undergrad, and pathway programs. Our Global Mobility Center offers study tour and uh, exchange and also study abroad opportunities with our partner universities around the world from America to Europe and Asia. There are three faculties at Swinburne University, including FSAC, Faculty of Science, Engineering and Technology, F, uh, FBL, Faculty of Business and Law, and FHAT, Faculty of Health, Arts and Design. Uh, we offer quite a good range of study areas from arts, design, engineering, IT, computer science, aviation, games and interactivity, psychology, nursing, and law degree. So quite a large range of courses available at Swinburne. And here are some of our famous alumni graduated from Swinburne University, including Gus Davis. He's the director of movie Lion. And JC Lewati, the founder of Mimo Bottle, Nick Kozaki, he's the director of music video, Dance Monkey uh, by Tones and I. And also uh, Kenji Masolino, he's an international student, also a Vogue Living 2020 LSE Designer Award winner. Kenji finished her, uh, his design program uh, and graduated from Swinburne Design School last year with us. So Swinburne is based in Eastern uh, suburb of Melbourne and uh, there is a train station in the heart of Swinburne Hawthorne campus and take it through uh, anyway. It's providing a highly accessible to Melbourne CBD and also all parts of Melbourne. 
this is the central part of our Swinburne Hawthorn campus. It's beautiful, it's green and leafy suburb in Hawthorn, also one of the wealth, uh, wealthiest suburb and safest suburb in Melbourne. Uh, also, there is tram stop outside of Swinburne Hawthorn campus as well. So in, um, in, in terms of convenience, it's uh, highly accessible to anywhere in Melbourne. Uh, you did mention about November intake, so I'm going to bring forward to that slide. So our November intake will be uh, available both in undergrad and postgraduate programs and including uh, 1.5 years and two years master degree, also our uh, single degree and double degrees in the undergraduate study level. Uh, the uh, available availability programs, uh, including accounting, business, uh, design, education, engineering, IT, media and communication, psychological science, and Bachelor of Science. So that's for the undergraduate level. For the postgraduate level, we are offering programs from uh, MBA, Master of IT, Master of Cybersecurity, Master of Data Science, uh, Master of Professional Engineering, a Master of Engineering Science, Master of Construction and Infrastructure Management. So all the popular courses will be available for November intake, available for both students that are currently offshore, impacted by travel restriction, as well as students that are completing a semester two in uh, Australia and would like to join us from onshore. Excellent. That was a that was pretty much everything. All the courses what you covered, and I'm glad to see that there are so many courses which are considered for November, which is uh, really unique and it's really good. So thank you so much for that. Uh, of course, you mentioned about you know where it's located, so it's a uh, conveniently located in front of the tram stop. So once we start back, you know, normal lives, of course, traveling won't be an issue as well for students. Now, uh, as you as you are aware, we pretty much talked about, you know, which situation we are currently in. And there are students who are studying from online right now or, or you know, doing all their uh, curriculum through online. So uh, how you guys are working when it comes to student services? What are the services you are providing to our students? Yeah, very good question. Obviously, our international students, you know, traveling to a different country or study at a foreign university requires a lot of support. So uh, in Swimby University, our International Student Advisor Team, ISA, provides full support for international students from employability, accommodation, and also emergency support. There is a 24 hours hotline for students to call in case of any kinds of emergency. And also in the beginning of this year, we do have students returning from offshore and that does require to quarantine. Uh, during that quarantine period, Swinburne University also provides full supporting meal services and also uh, cares in case of students does require support to pay the bills and everything. And also we provide mental and uh, health support as well whenever they need to. And they are full range of support that we could help our international students to get through a difficult time like this. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much, Venus. That's that's really commendable that, you know, you are helping out the current student cohort as well. Now, we are taking a few questions as well. There is a student or there is a, you know, viewer who is asking a question. Uh, Sridhar is asking, what about the PhD courses? Uh, will we the next time the PhD courses will be introduced or when they can start studying? That's a very good question. So at the moment, uh, all of our programs are available. So from pathway, undergrad, postgrad, research, and PhD, uh, they have no disruptage whatsoever. But in terms of traveling to Australia for physical study, uh, currently that does pose some uh, restriction because the border is currently closed uh, for any flights to Australia. So uh, in terms of that, I will suggest the student to um, if the student has already found a supervisor, contact the supervisor uh, to confirm when is the possible traveling time or the, the other study arrangement. If the student hasn't put an application to Swimming University, then I would definitely uh, suggest that student will keep an eye out for any changes uh, coming uh, to the future. Yes. True. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Sridharan. I hope we've answered your questions. Uh, of course, 
if there are any more questions guys you can definitely put your comments and we'll definitely try to cover as many questions as possible uh now venus after the student services i would like to go to the uh to the financial condition of students so of course uh you know most of the people or most of the students who have kind of lost their jobs and they don't have a resource to basically earn and sort of look after their studies so are there any scholarships or are there any um you know financial help which university is doing it from their side Yes, thank you for asking that question. It is a very difficult time for international students, uh, especially if they are already onshore in Australia partaking their studies here. So uh, at Swimming University, for current students enrolling with us, we are giving them support of uh, one thousand to three thousand dollars of emergency emergency support services. Um, for any students that hasn't enrolled with us, we are also offering a range of very attractive international excellence scholarship, ranging from ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, fifty percent, and up to seventy-five percent of the scholarship for your entire uh, study duration at Swimming Excellent. University, from okay. pathway to undergrad to postgrad. So um, there are full uh, a lot of opportunities for scholarship. And also for students that are currently impacted by travel restriction, they are overseas, they can't enter to Australia. We are giving them a 30% linking scholarship for them to undertake online studies offshore. So we are offering a range of really generous and attractive support to international students financially. So hopefully one of these options will be suitable for you. Yes, yes, true. Thank you. <clears throat> and guys, if you need more information about scholarships, you can definitely get in touch with any of the Aussies branches. As you guys know that we have offices in five states. Uh, so you can definitely get into any of the Aussies branches and we'll make sure that you get the information what you're looking for. Uh, the other question what I had, uh, Venus, is of course that all of us are pretty much sort of working from home um, since say March of this year. Uh, the first semester has pretty much gone in there. The second, it's kind of started. So what sort of feedback have you guys received from the students? Is there anything you would like to shed some light on? Yeah, so uh, I guess in terms of the support for students uh, learning, for students that are already with us, uh, we have done a survey with them and uh, what we have learned is they are very satisfied with their online learning. Uh, with um, also academic support, they are able to even speak with someone from our faculty member on the weekends and also after you know business hours. So students, um, I must be honest that students' feedback are quite varied. Obviously, depending on the course they study and depending on the nature of their programs, some, some programs does require an on-campus and physical learning at the lab and also at uh, one of our facilities, for example, our engineering students or health science students or nursing students. You know, in the beginning of the year for first time lockdown, they can't continue their on-campus learning. Uh, however, we have opened that um, on-campus learning from June to July, uh, helping those students um, catching up their studies on campus with physical teaching and support. And for students um, also transitioning from on-campus study to online study, it has not been easy. And it's the first time for everyone is unprecedented. No one has done that before. So I guess uh, what we have learned, the mistake that we have made in semester one are being improved in semester two. And what we can definitely say that we don't use our recorded video from semester one to teach semester two students. Every course is online are live and students will be able to get uh, support uh, either online or offline if they are not uh, satisfied with their study outcome, they could always find someone to talk to from our university and they could find support from international student advisor team. Uh, if they need any support whatsoever, it's actually very easy to find a support from uh, Swimming University, either through uh, library online services or student online services or even to admissions team. Uh, or even through OSIS group, if you can't find any support or you can't get in touch with Swimming University, contact OSIS group, they will be able to uh, find a proper arrangement for you. 
Excellent. Thank you so much, Venus. Uh, I'm extremely proud to be associated with, with Swinburne. The, the only reason for that would be that, you know, the amount of, uh, uh, you know, different scholarships which are there is starting from 10% to 75%. Online scholarship is 30%, as you said. Uh, the different amounts, what you mentioned, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, depending on the situation. So I could literally see that Swinburne has taken each and every single initiative uh, wherever they can to basically help the international student cohort. So that is that is extremely, uh, you know, um, encouraging sign for the whole industry and for, for you know, Melbourne and, and Swinburne for that matter. So thank you so much. On behalf of students, I would like to thank you for that. Uh, there were a few, few questions which were getting about, about regarding like certain fees. Uh, Atif is asking about the Master of IT. Atif, uh, we have mentioned all the numbers. If you can please get in touch with us, either you can message us or give us your mobile number and we'll definitely get in touch with you. We would like to see if you are eligible for any certain scholarship as well, so that, you know, the different scholarship, what Venus mentioned, if you are eligible in one of those ones, we'll definitely uh, give you those. Now, before we wrap up, Venus, do you have any any message uh, which you would like to share with, with, you know, potential students or the students who are thinking of starting uh, courses in Swinburne? Would you like to give any message? Yes, yes. Um... You know, Albert Einstein once said, in the midst of every crisis lays great opportunity. So I think um, I, wanna, I wanted to encourage every student that are seeking to study during this um, you know, difficult time of pandemic to observe a good opportunity and never stop moving. Be hustling, don't freeze. Keep equip your ability and knowledge to prepare for the jobs of the future, post pandemic possibly. Sumi University offers great study opportunities with financial support of 30% scholarship. Also part-time study mode for remaining 2020 intakes, including November intakes. So keep you moving. Slowly is better True. than never moving. So I encourage every student to be strong during this difficult time. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Venus. We, we try level best to, you know, put forward as much positivity, positivity as possible. Because uh, at the end of the day, we all pretty much in it together and we have to sail it through uh, and, you know, make, make sure that we, we go to the next uh, sort of next side as pretty much soon as possible. But we can't uh, leave everything and we can't lose our focus as well. So thank you so much for your wise words. Um, guys, as I said, we'll try to, we've, we've tried to kind of cover the questions, what you send it to us. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us. Uh, our office numbers from different branches, from different cities is already mentioned here. Uh, you can send us a Facebook message as well, and we'll definitely get in touch with you. Venus, I hope that uh, this sort of, you know, lockdown open soon. And we, we try to, you know, meet soon and, and students would love to see students coming back to the campus as normal. Yes. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll, we'll catch up soon. We will definitely get in touch with you uh, when students kind of ask us about any queries or scholarships or everything. We'll definitely get in touch. Uh, have a great afternoon and then evening uh, and look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much for having me. And take care, everyone. Stay home and stay safe. And hopefully we'll get through this together. Goodbye, Thank everyone. Thank you, Vina. Thank you. Bye-bye.